Welcome to Match Fishing Masterclass. You join me today on a live match at Bone Hill Mill Fishery and it's part of a three day festival. So today is day one and we've drew on peg 27 on Dales Lake. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Just going to keep things dead simple. For I'm going to break my swim down into three parts. So the longer part of my peg, so 40 and 50 yards. I'll just set up an 11 foot uh, feeder rod, and this is to fish the method. I don't tend to want to start on this today. This is, I think, going to be for the middle of the match. But the setup itself, I've just got 11 foot rod, 4,000 reel. The main line is. 018 suffix advance which is eight pound and then it's got a shock leader on of 020 of the same brand and this is 10 pounds so a bit stronger when the fish are under under the rod it's gonna it's not gonna let me down basically running down we've got a 20 gram ICS method feeder this is quite light I tend to fish the lightest method feeders can get away with here because it's quite silty so I want the method to sit on top of the silt uh, that's going down to 019 Preston power line and a size 16, but it's a big 16 hook uh, just to a bait spike. That's just going to be with micros around the method, and they've just got a little bit of uh, dynamite amino pellet soak on just to make them. It doesn't make them look any different, but it just makes them stand out just a little bit from what everyone else is using. So they're going to go around the, around the method. For my pole lines, I've just got a mugging rig set up, just a 0.3 crystal dibber. That's to 019 main line and 017 hook length. And then coming back, we've got our long pole rig. So I've got a 14 elastic, 019 main line, and to a 0.3 carb pellet from dot and down and then just got a shirt button style shotting pattern of number nines down to a six inch hook length of, I think it's 016 line down to a 16 MXC3, I think it is the hook. And that's to fish with hard pellets. And then we've just got an edge rig. So we've got 15 hollow down to 019 main line 0.4 mud liner from dot and down. Just got a bulk of four number eight shots down to a six inch hook length of 017 with a size 12 XSH hook from Preston. And then that's about it really. So we broke our peg down. Long is the, the method. And then long pole is pellets on the deck and a bit of mugging maybe. And then we've got one more rig, which is just for short, so we've got point 0.3 float, 019 main line again, 15 elastic, shirt button style 
um, shotting pattern and then 015 hook length. So pretty simple and that's the all in. So I'm just going to spin round, I'm going to start short, I think, see if I can nick a quick fish on hard pellets. The lad on the next bench has gone out and mugged one straight away. I'm going to try and have one short first. Rattle a few pellets in. As I was saying, it's a three day festival, so on day one you want to take it steady, really. It's not all about trying to win the festival on day one. You want to just make sure you don't blow your peg and you're still in the running. Going into day two, and the same with day two. Once, once you get to the end of day two, you pretty much know what you've got to do, so... If you're doing well in the festival on day two, there's not loads of pressure in day three, so you can try and just have another steady day. But on day two, if you do no good, because the, the festival's on weight, you're going to have to really push your peg wherever you draw on day three. So Dale on the next peg, he, uh, he owns the fishery. He's known as Dobbin Man on social media. So you've probably heard of him. We've done a couple of videos with him. And a lot of his fishing from probably May till October resolves around mugging carp and he's very good at it to be honest but he's just mugged one probably in the first 20 seconds of the match but he lost it there's no pressure I'll have another two minutes on this and then there is a couple of fish swimming about in front of me so we might have 10 minutes mugging to see if they're actually feeding. I think a little indication then. I think um, the first couple of hours of my match might be spent long on the, on the bottom, on the long pole. But still early days, that's my plan anyway. I'll go out and have ten minutes more in there. Gonna have a go of a six mil hard pellets. Don't like big baits for for mugging.
as I was about to ship out, and I just saw the silhouette. I want that swimming off me. fish as well. So again, I didn't see a fish there, just a little bit of movement. There's another one there, right where up that other one. A little bit of movement on the water. See how, how them fish have just come out the peg there and you, you don't even know they're there. These muggers that do tend to be big fish, up to 20 pound here. So you don't need loads of them. Sometimes it's worth just being, being patient. Very easy to do too much too fast. Places like this, but they're big fish so worth just being a little bit patient sometimes. Seven or eight pound. He wanted that right down his neck. Good job. And just drop something down there. I'll give him seven pound. He's just coming into the peg there. Well, there's two of them. for a little spells like this where you can't catch nothing then all of a sudden you'll have like six or seven on the bounce and them six or seven could be hundred pound probably more sometimes he's pulling Common. A little bit bigger that one. Took me eight or nine pound. 
again, rock down its neck. So we are three hours in now. And everyone's really struggling. It's my first fish on the method. I can't seem to get a bite on anything else. Had a couple of goes on the long pole on the bottom. Can't get an indication. The muggers have pretty much gone now. So I think it's going to be a case of just get my head down on this method for the next hour or, or so and I hope that some fish turn up down the edge but I've just spoke to Dale on the next peg and he's actually got four I thought he had more than that, so me and Dale this will, I think this will be my sixth It's a nice ghost deep me and Dale are pretty close, to be honest. This is James on peg 18 over there. I'll ring you back in a minute, I'm just unhooking a fish. He's probably seen me catch this one on the method and thought I'll ring him. Probably five pound that one. They do tend to be smaller fish on the method but when it's this hard anything's better than nothing. going to have five minute casts. That one actually come after about three minutes so try and get a few bites on this. Just push our weight up and then probably in an hour's time just going to feed some ground back down the margin. You're right, son. I've, I've just had two on the method. I had five on five mugging, and this is my second one on the method. Yeah. What what you got over there? Four. Yeah, I thought it was hard over there. I've not really seen you catching. What, pellets on the deck? Yeah, just, just keep plodding on, mate. Rock hard over here. Yeah, I've got a big tree, big tree up above me, so it's keeping me dry when it does rain. All 
all right, mate. It's in a bit. It's in a bit, boy. It's a nice fish. Paid between six and seven pound. So I've just spoke to James on peg 17. And he's got four small carp. Lad next to him on 18. Has got three small carp. So we're doing we're doing well. I think I've now got seven. It's a big fish, I think. Fully. Might be foul up there, it's fighting weird. I've had two on this already. Straight away, Dale's gone out on the rod. And Gary on my left. So obviously, seeing what I'm doing. Take my time and try and get everything in there. I think 100 pound will be mega, mega today. the fit fish. I seem to get his head up.
seven pounder. It's a skimmer, I think. Tell you what, this weather's not ordeal. Yeah. Nearly a bream in. Yeah, that one nearly had the rod off. And it feels like a small fish as well. Five pound. We've got two hours left of the match now. And I'm going to feed some ground bait. Just down my left hand edge at about, about eight metres. At Bone Hill, you can feed with your pole whilst your rod's in the water. 
can be a little bit risky sometimes, but it's worth doing. You just need to keep an eye on your rod whilst you're doing it. Just going to put three pots down there. The ground bait I'm using today is green swim stim. So I'll put a bag of that in and one bag of marine halibut. It's an absolutely lovely mix. Got loads of little halibut particles in it. And I think that's what the carp like to be honest. These big carp at Bone Hill. They do like them particles I think. As I said, you have just got to keep an eye on your rod. And then down my right hand edge here, just by this tree, just going to put some micros, like a quarter of a pot, and then the same ground bait. So, like, oh, there we go, there's a, there's a fish on that. Yeah, so I'll just put half a pot down my right hand side. So, basically, feeding one. One negative and one positive. And we'll go from there. It's this right hand edge here. I can throw some bait there as well. So I always like to go negative on the one closest to me. Because that one's going to be the quickest to feed. Because I can throw bait there. As long as I keep getting the odd bite on this. I won't be in a rush to get down there. Because no one's catching a load. This one wants to go to see Dale. Not big, but welcome. It's too light now, mate. Really small mouth. I can't get my fingers in there. Probably four pound. Yeah, so that's what I meant about you need to just keep an eye on your rod if you are going to feed with uh, with your pole whilst your rod's in. You need to make sure that you're keeping an eye on that rod. Because I've seen a few people lose them before.
off eat this now. This one's not so bad because it's right there, but let's put a bit of corn in as well. Well, that puts me on just over sixty pound. Yeah. If I can catch forty pound in the next two hours, I'll be happy with that. Hundred pound going into day two. I think over the three days you're probably going to want three hundred and fifty pound. So if I can catch hundred today, hundred and twenty tomorrow depending on where I draw, and then 1.30 the last day with a push. We'll definitely be there or thereabouts. We're into the last hour now. I've got £63 on my clicker. I've got that skimmer, so I've probably got about £65. And then another skimmer here. And I don't really know what to do. I might go and have a little look down that edge. To be honest, the people I've seen fishing down the margins, they haven't really fought much. I'll give it five minutes down there. I've just put in another shot on my rig when I had that bite then. Just up one down our left hand edge. There's not long left of the match to be honest. 20 minutes. Let's try and take our time. Making count. Gonna catch them, you might as well catch a big one. never coming off anyway. Just refeed that.
puts us close to our 80 pound anyway. We don't take many of them. That was challenging. Right, I've not got a clue how I've got on in the match, but I've got around 73 to 75 pound, I reckon. So I'll get packed up and I'll, uh, I'll see, you, see you at the end once I know how I've got on. Some mugging, some on the method, one down the edge. Seventy-eight, five pound off. I'll let myself off with that. Eighteen six. Thank you. Seventy-eight five. Yeah, I said seventy-three. Did you? Yeah. Well, we've all weighed in, and I've had seventy-eight pound and a few ounces, and that's put me second in the match. And I can't believe it. To be fair, I thought it was going to fish a lot better than than it has, but I, what I think has happened is the fish have spawned, and they've just just been moody, really. So eighty pound is winning. So I'm two pound behind the leader, and yeah, just wish me luck for tomorrow. We're going to do the draw for tomorrow in uh, about ten minutes. So I'm going to head over there now, and I'll see you tomorrow.